Hi, this is Tom Peterson with NVIDIA, and today I want to talk to you about our brand new graphics card, the GTX 590. This is the best, fastest graphics card we've ever made, and it's got a lot of cool features and a lot of cool technology embedded into it, and I'm going to tell you all about it. To begin with, um, let's take a look at where we came from. So over on this table, I've been able to acquire every dual GPU card NVIDIA has ever manufactured, starting with the 7900 GX2, all the way through our subsequent families to where we are today with the GTX 590. And you can see right away there's one central fan that sucks air in and blows it in each direction across a pair of vapor chambers. Now these are high performance vapor chambers with lots of fins, great thermal transfer between the GPU and the fins. What that allows us to do is run this fan really low and still get good airflow across both sets of fins. That's the miracle that makes this thing so quiet. Now if you take the vapor chambers off and you dig in, what you'll see is a card like this. There are two GF110s and the big switch in the middle is our own PCI Express switch. That allows these guys to get full PCI Express by 16 bandwidth. You'll also see there are 10 regulators. Those are just for the GPU. There's another four regulators for the memory. Those GPU regulators allow us to get really clean power that the GPUs can use to run really, really fast. There are components on this side, also more components on this side. Taken together, there are over 2,200 components. It's really just an engineering marvel. Now, when you look at the back panel, you'll see there are two, there are actually three dual link DVI and a mini DP. So nobody is going to have any problem with connectivity. As a matter of fact, with these three uh, display links, you can actually connect up NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround with one GPU. Overall, the card when loaded will take 365 watts, and of course, we take two by eight PCI Express powers. So let's take a look at this rig to begin. If you look, I've got uh, an X58 platform with a Core i7 CPU. I've got 12 gig of RAM, and I have the GTX 590. You can see one thing that jumps right out is, you, is we got this nice LED on top. That's functional in the sense that if you have any problems with your power, that'll blink to let you know you need to get a better power supply or make sure your connections are tight. So back over to the screen, I'm going to be running a bunch of different things. First of all, you can see by the CPU-Z right here that uh, it's running at 3 gigahertz. I'm also going to use precision. And you can see right now we're running at about 40% on the fan. It's sitting at idle. There's no uh, GPU utilization, and the thing's basically uh, resting. And over here is uh, how GTX 590 is going to appear in the control panel. Now on this, you can see that it's got two cores. They're both GF110s, 1024 cores, connected up to my 30-inch monitor where um, multi-GPU acceleration already enabled. So with all that going on, let's go ahead and launch uh, one of my favorite games, Crisis 2, and tell you what it looks like. So we just launched Crisis 2. We're going to go ahead and jump into it and uh, take a look at options, at the graphics. So the first thing you see is 25 by 16 full screen V-Syncs on hardcore specs. So we're ready to roll. Now uh, what I have up top here is uh, the overlay that comes with precision. You can see it's showing you your current frame rate. It's also showing you the temperature of the GPUs, the GPU utilization, and the core clock on the GPU. So you can see already that GTX 590 has a 608 core clock when it's running. So let's get going. We're getting in there and I'm going to do my favorite stealth kill. Yeah, a nice little neck spin there. And now it's just in the head. Okay, now this is fun. Do the little slide under here and zap him in the head. All right. And again, let's take a look. We're at 99% utilization, 50% on, uh, on the fan, which is, again, nearly silent. Pretty much a delightful experience. So this is a new game as well that I wanted to show you. It's called Homefront. It just came out last week. And the cool part about this game, it's a first-person shooter. Um, basically, you're defending the American homeland. It's a pretty fun game. Let me show you what's going on here. So if you're into a first-person shooter, recommend you take a look at it. Um, I've been playing this for a while since it came out, um, and I'm really enjoying it. Let me show you a little bit about what's going on in the temperatures right now. So again, we're running with a single GTX 590. You're seeing 84 degrees on the GPUs. You're running at about 50, 60 frames per second at 25 by 16. You can see GD, GPU utilization right now is at 100% pretty much, but the fan is still at 50. Now that's a key thing about the GTX 590. It's actually really, really quiet even while you're gaming at the highest resolution. So I got this little DBA hand meter here. We're going to see what it says. All right, so we're running right around 48.9 dB. And again, there's lots of background noise in here. It's really uh, pretty quiet. Let me show you a little chart. So this is uh, showing our acoustics versus other NVIDIA products. The 295 I showed you is right over here. 
this was a great design at the time, but it was a little bit louder. It was actually running between 40, 52 and 54, so it's around 53 dB. And that primarily came from the fact that there were, there were these um, pipes for a heat pipe that cut down on the airflow. So it's very similar in structure, but the result is very different. Now, another one to look at is the 9800GX2. That's this one again. And you can see what's going on here, a bigger fan sucking air in and kind of forcing out the front. At the end of the day, while it was a cool design, it still had fairly loud acoustics. So what we've done with GTX 590 is we've hit a home run. An advanced innovative thermal design gives us somewhere between 48 and 50 while gaming. And for those of you that are aware, GTX 580 is sort of leading class for a high performance graphics card. That's at about 48 dB under load. This is just barely louder. So what we've managed to do is create a GTX 590 that has both world-class performance, 1.5 times a GTX 580, but yet almost as quiet as the GTX 580. It's, it's actually really amazing. All right, so now one more thing I wanna show you is over in the tech lab with a friend of mine, Andrew Kuhnrat. He's got a single GTX 590 driving three panels. And so it's pretty exciting stuff. Let's go take a look. All right, so Andrew, we're here to talk about 3D Vision Surround, and I can see you've already got it up and running, and you're playing Crisis 2, correct? That is correct. Excellent. And then down here, you can see, is a single GTX 590, and we're running with three dual-link DVI cables connected up, driving all three of these panels. This is actually the first time we've been able to support uh, 3D Vision Surround with just one graphics card. Andrew, can you turn this to 2D mode so we can show them what we're yes, looking at here? Yeah. All right, Andrew. Now, Andrew is an expert video gamer, so you can imagine he could not possibly die while we're playing this. And uh, let's just watch a little bit of gameplay in, in, uh, in 2D surround here. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm using my uh, stealth and armor modes. Nice. For machine guns and grenades and pistols and all sorts of suit modes. Excellent. And as you can see, it plays beautifully in surround with a single GTX 590. That's correct. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's go back. All right, so I think that's about it for GTX 590. I gotta tell you, it's one of the best graphics cards, one of the highest performance graphics cards we've ever made. One thing I haven't mentioned though, is that if you take two of these bad boys and you stick them in your PC, you do get quad performance. The GTX 590 has been fully certified to work in multiple different chassis. We're testing out chassis, we're testing out power supplies, we're testing out motherboards to make sure that when you take these two cards home, you get a great experience. So in this box right here, we have an RVO2 that's been tested by NVIDIA to be a wonderful solution for the GTX 590 Quad. Um, it's in a Rampage 3 motherboard, also tested by us, and it's using a, a Silverstone 1500 watt power supply. So this system, you can go out and buy all the parts in the channel and everything comes together and works great and you can be rest assured it's been NVIDIA tested. So on our website, go to geforce.com under the quad SLI section and you'll find a list of power supplies, motherboards and chassis fully tested, ready to go so you can get the same experience in your house that I'm showing you here. So GTX 590, it's available today. You can get it from e-tail, retail, system builders. It's worldwide, and I'm really, really excited about it. It's an engineering marvel, and uh, it's available now.